So today I am bringing to you Sadness from the movie Inside Out. It's a Pixar movie that I hold dear to my heart because I feel like I have multiple characters battling in my head. Oh, we just fell down. We should cry. Sadness, we can't cry in front of other kids! Stop it! Stop it, Sadness! It's just all over the place. I would like to present and show you how I recreated this sadness costume. And I am pretty impressed with how it turned out, but most things uh, that I bought weren't a whole lot of money. Other than the contacts itself, I got the wig from Dollarama, the glasses from Amazon, um, and then the face paint from Amazon as well. So if you wanna see how I recreated this sadness look, please keep watching. And I've linked all of the products that I used in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and let's get straight into the video. So I start with French braiding my hair. Although it's short, it still needs to be tucked in under my $3 wig from Dollarama. And I added a headband to keep my bangs and those flyaways out of the way. Also, I have to start with the contacts because trying to put those in when your face is covered in hard, time-consuming makeup, I don't chance messing that up. So I'll take the chances of doing my contacts seven to eight times before they actually go into my eyeball without any makeup on. That's many years of experience, folks, so take my advice. If you haven't done contacts in a while, that's hard. Ooh. You need to wet the paint itself and wet the applicator that you will be using. I watched a YouTube tutorial, um, I'll link it in the description on how to properly apply face paint. This will be my first time uh, doing a full face of face paint. So they said to dab it with a wet beauty blender or brush um, to kind of decrease any streaking, I guess. But I ended up just doing this for the first layer and opted to do a second layer just in case. And I did use a foundation application brush for that one because I have no patience. See, look how smooth that looks. I think it wouldn't look as good if I did this right off the start, but because I had a base coat to start off with, it uh, ended up working out okay. Just make sure to get all those small little places like in your tear troughs and up into your ears, but try not to get it into your eyes. I felt like an Oompa Loompa. I didn't want to go out and actually get proper eyebrow coloring, so I used the liquid lipstick that I was going to use for this look and applied it to my eyebrows. It turned out better than I had expected. So this is my favorite part actually of this costume is the contouring and makeup application I guess to this costume because pretty much what I was going for was a blue person that was just wearing normal, you know, makeup. With a very light hand, use a dense uh, contour brush to apply the eyeshadow onto your cheekbones or just under them. And then use a fluffy brush to kind of blend it out. This is also something you wouldn't really want to uh, go a little harsh on at the start because you put in so much effort to get that face paint as even as possible. truly do love contouring my nose. Fun fact about me, in high school I actually got made fun of for looking like, I don't even want to say, my nose was really pointy so they would refer me to a, a very famous singer at the time. And this pigment is absolutely phenomenal. I use it in almost everyday kind of makeup looks even though I don't really wear a lot of makeup lately. 
but one trick I did use was bringing the highlight pigment, which you can use any kind of highlighter, one that you already have, uh, a, li a little bit farther than you normally would. And here's the proper use of this liquid lipstick. which I actually bought ages ago so I am gonna have to look through my uh, shopping cart and see what kind of brand but I'm pretty sure they are Sephora brand and the final touches are made with the wig and the glasses that I got from Amazon and like brush out that wig because you know that three dollar wig isn't gonna last you very long if you enjoyed this look, please let me know in the comments below if you plan on recreating it or one of the other Inside Out characters. Please submit a photo, send it to me, Instagram, anything. I'd be happy to see your recreations of the Inside Out characters. I'm thinking of maybe doing a couple more this year or maybe next. But uh, thank you and take care. See you in my next video. I can't help it, Joy. I'm entering a sadness spiral. Disgusting. Just getting tears on Joy, me. calm her down. Uh, okay. Uh, how about we stop being sad and, um... Uh... Hey, look at this. Hey, okay. Your desperation makes me sad.